Call that. The vacation that never seemed to end is over. Welcome back to the track, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Phoenix International Raceway in Avondale, Arizona. Today, we begin our West Coast tour here in the NASCAR Nationwide Series Farewell Tour. And what a better way to start it than the jewel of the Desert Phoenix International Raceway. Hope you guys enjoyed the vacation. Hope you guys had a nice Easter. It's time to go back in business here at Phoenix as we begin our West Coast tour for the final time of the series. After a very great race at Daytona and Atlanta, it's time to start our West Coast tour here at Phoenix. We have a we have an expanded West Coast. Tour in, in, in our terms of NASCAR Go West. I'll talk to, I'll talk about that in pre-race when we get our grid. But let's talk about past trends here at Phoenix. The leader of the race has gone on to win about nine times out of ten. The the leader of the white flag has gone on to win ten times out of our past 11 races here. And we've always had a caution within the first few laps. But will history repeat itself and we will see and will we see another winner from the pole? We will find out. It's Phoenix. It's nationwide racing. And it's on NBC NASCAR. Don't go away. And welcome back to Phoenix International Raceway in Avondale, Arizona. Coverage of Nationwide Racing here from Phoenix. Emmanuel Harnett has the night off, so I will take you home through these next 32 laps here. On the pole, we got Amber Force, Tommy Tang, Griffin Lynn. Uh, Josh Montecoli is your top five. Hilly Sanchez, Jay, uh, Jeff Bright, Wayne Lopez, Eli Bright, Chris Mayweather in 10th. Rounding out... Our field is Philip Goldberg in 39th. So, in in, in pre-race, I talked about the the expanded West Coast tour. So I will go ahead and get to that as we get our track telemetry up. Guys, take a look at that. Our West Coast tour now consists of Texas Motor Speedway. That will that will be the end of our West Coast tour. Uh, so so now we have Phoenix, Las Vegas Auto Club, and Texas as part of our West Coast tour in in the 2018 season 11. You see our truck telemetry here. You see that. The dog leg has been pushed back, so now this is free to race on. Uh, no out of bounds here at Phoenix, so uh, drivers will enjoy that. We we would have our picks presented by Nationwide, but it's only me up here in the broadcast booth, so we won't have that here tonight. Uh, Hardnett will join us at Las Vegas in our next race. And Reforce leads them down the back straight away on their only pace lap, so uh, we will go green this time by. 32 laps around Phoenix, the newly reconfigured Phoenix, I should say. Um, it's just good to be back, folks. Hope, hope you guys enjoyed the vacation, had a nice Easter. Now it's time to get back in action, get busy here in the NASCAR Nationwide Series as we start, as we continue our farewell tour in the series. The pace car lights are off. You know what that means. We're going green this time by. And the field will be in the hands of Amber Force as they come off turn four. Pace car is off. And here we go. Dascar Nationwide Racing from Phoenix is now green. Griffin Lynn making it three wide already on the start. That's not going to work. 
That's not gonna work. Into the wall goes the leader. Wreck down the back. Already. Lap one. And they're still crashing here in turn three. Everforce is in it. So the leader does not make it back to the to to the line to, to collect five points. That would be Griffin Lynn. Lynn, a terrible move on the start. Caution number one on lap one. We did not make it out of turn number four before we got the yellow flag. We'll take a look at it. We'll review it and get to any penalties that we that we may have on the other side. Alright, this is going into turn number two. And this won't be a penalty. This is just a case of racing. A, a couple cars, tires touched early on in the race. They want to race for track position. And uh, it sparks, sparks up a pretty good size incident here. You see the 88 uh, almost takes the door off the, the 11. And then there's a stack up over here. You see 25 Dylan Young, yo! Hard up into the wall for the 89. And then right, oh man, he just gets snagged at the very last second and then his day is done when the 16 plows right into him. Oh, Jesse Turner! Man, heads up driving there, he goes into the safer barrier. Yeah, this this won't be a penalty. This this is just a case of racing early early laps, but it's 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 only lap one. You, you got 32 laps. Why not why not race around a while and and just just let the track come to you. See the 88 spins, but it's it's too early there. You see uh, Mayweather get involved there. 89 takes a lick. Kelly Salvador misses it. Jack Dawson uses the apron to door slam on the, on the, on the 16 to the 25. And then he's shoved up into the safer barrier. So, it's just a case of racing, but too early to be racing that hard. Griffin Lynn is your leader. Going for three different winners. No, four different winners in four races. We'll be back. Rack it all up and do it again. And welcome back to Phoenix International Raceway. Coverage of NASCAR Nationwide Racing here from the Jewel of the Desert. Mango Harnett has a night off. Jamie Pinter up here in the broadcast booth. Voice of the Nationwide Series for 11 seasons. Coming to an end this season. Griffin Lynn, Joshua Sicoli, Jeff Bright, Alex Hawkins, Eli Bright, Annie Lynch, Bennett LaFair, Levi Shones, the Vanity Series Champion, Max Anderson and Audra Baranaskis rounding out your top 10. 99, uh, Lily Gordon got some damage from that earlier wreck. Doesn't seem to be affecting her car that much. 5 of 32 are complete. We will start lap 6 when, when we take the green. And uh, update from NASCAR, no penalties to any drivers. Just in case of racing. So here we go. Pace car will come off. They will get into the DSM restart zone this time by lap 6 of 32 complete this time. Griffin Lynn leads them into the DSM restart zone. Green flags in the air. We're back underway from Phoenix. Now let's see if we can have a calm race. These guys side by side. Or single file. Griffin Lynn down the back straight away. No one using that, that newly uh, configured dog leg just yet. Multi-group racetrack, that's why you see these guys running the high line. And, uh, uh multi-group racetracks make for some fun racing, folks. I'll tell you what, when, when we come to Phoenix every time, it, it, it just gets better and better. Griffin Lynn almost got, uh, punted by Joshua Sakuli there on the high side. Six. That of Alex Hawkins going to the inside. New color scheme for him. Punts the 42 up the track. It's all about that, the bump and run in the desert. Normally you see that at Bristol, but, but today 
We're seeing it. We're seeing it at Phoenix. Oh, contact! How is that not a crash? How is that not a crash? And the six will propel to the lead off corner number four. Alex Hawkins will get five points. Now we got some calm racing in the back. They're jostling. But we ain't got no caution. Thankfully. 9 of 32 complete this time by Joshua Sakuli. Fighting with Griffin Lynn. That's for second. Hawkins is running away. Nope. No, he's not. Here comes Sakuli. Back on the low line. Sakuli gets loose. Hawkins leaves. I don't expect that to be the case now. Here comes the seven in the wall. No caution. No cut. There they go. There they go. Alex Hawkins goes around off the front bumper and a hard crash here in three. Don't hit him. Oh, man, what a hit. Who was that? Was that the 16? Oh my goodness! Jeff Lewis with a stinging blow! Wow! Yellow flag number two! 52 of Johnny Garner, he's torn up. Alex Hawkins, Amber Force, Jeff Lewis, and Jay Barker. Zane Davidson looks to be involved. We'll take a look at the replays. 42 still leads. That was chaotic. We can finally breathe our second caution of the day. Well, the 6 is going to go off the off the front bumper of the 23 of Annie Lynch. Take a look. Yeah, just got turned. He gets his payback by uh, slamming the door of the 23. You see a late hit there by the 20. Johnny Garner gets a piece of it. 32 got a piece of it. He goes in, in into the wall on the outside. Now watch this. Hit. It's going to be Amber Forrest right there. And both of those cars got picked up off the ground. The three goes head on into the 16. But Hawkins and Forrest, they took the brunt of this incident. Remember, Forrest was involved in that, in that lap one crash. So things are not going her way to start the campaign here in 2018. Take a look. Uh, racing with the 14, that car, a uh, 14 car, uh, heavily damaged. You see uh, the hood buckle on uh, Amber Forrest's machine there. She tried to go to the outside to miss it. But unfortunately, the 6 is right there and hammered right there and picked up off, off, off the ground. 16 gets a... Uh, gets a hood full of the three. Caution number two. Another crash here in turn number three. This is turning out to be a record setter here at Phoenix. We'll be, we'll be right back with the restart. Right after this. And welcome back to Phoenix International Raceway. Uh, getting ready to go green here after our second caution. And uh, Griffin Lynn still leads. Bennett Lothair, Eli Bright, Levi Jones finds his way up the, to the inside the top five. Joshua Sakuli moves down to fifth. Uh, Audrey Baranaskis, Max Anderson, Lily Gordon cracks the top ten. Jeff Bright and Zachary Fitzwater find his way in tenth. There's Andy Lynch. You see that, that, uh, that door damage there from when the sixth got in there. Griffin Lynn. Looking for a win here. 14 of 32 are complete. We will start lap 15 on the restart. And here we go. Pace car lights are off. You see so, so, some of the skid marks there from the crash. And this will be a complete game changer from Phoenix to Vegas. So we will go to Las Vegas, to uh, Sin City, next race. DSM restart zone, Griffin Lynn, green flag. 98 poking the nose just a little bit to go off the turn number one. Don't know if don't know if she got the bumper, but but either way, Bennett Lothair is going to P1. Don't count out the 51 of Baranovskis out just yet. Here she comes. 
Levi Jones, defending series champion, Eli Bright, excuse me, in the 51. Uh, defending series champion, Levi Jones up there in, in car 22, finds his way up to fourth. After all the chaos. It's been a chaotic race so far, record setter. Two cautions here in the opening race at Phoenix for the season. Eli Bright. Whole shot off, tour, off corner number four. Excuse me. Leads the lap half a car length was the margin. Now what will Shones do? Shones coming back to defend his title. He wants to defend that title. Baron Oscar's hanging back in the weeds as these guys go three wide in the three. Nearly made contact. Shones. Muscling his way to P1 at the line. It'll be Eli Bright by just the splitter of the car. And give Shones P1 so far. 42, Griffin Link coming back. Up the track goes Shones. We stay green. Shones. Making the outside line work to lead another lap. No, excuse me. To lead his first lap of the season. He didn't win any races last season when he won the championship. But now when he comes back to defend, he wants to make sure he, 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 he has a win under his belt. And he wants it here today at Phoenix. He has a shot to go down to the inside, but 98's there. He might just settle for the outside Griffin Lynn. Loving what she sees in her mirror. And that side-by-side -side racing between the 22 and the 98. Then it's there. Eli Bright. Putting the bumper to the 22. Puts his way up the track. But Shell is making the outside line work. Look at this battle, three wide in the one. Up the track goes a fair contact with the 22. And are they making contact? No, they're not. Eli Bryce said, I had, a, I had enough of that. I'll make my way to second and possibly the lead. Yes, he will. Eli Bright coming to the lead. With 10 laps to go. And that margin was nothing. At the line, it was the 42. They call it. They call it the 42 by timing and scoring. Shones putting the bumper to, to Lynn. Eli Bright running away. Then Lethair not far behind. Now Lethair is inside. 51 leads the lap. Lynn to the bottom. Three one into one for the lead. We saw this in the opening lap and they wrecked. Are they going to do it again? No, they're not. Oh, contact between the 51 and the 42. 22 to the inside. Lynn, Bright, and Shones under a blanket for seconds. Left there saying, you guys can stay like that. Contact. Up near the wall goes the 51, and they keep it together. Fantastic racing here at Phoenix. Lynn to the bottom, off corner number four. Here they come, Griffin Lynn will lead it. Two one thousandths of a second, Sly Job nearly put herself in the wall. Bright Lafair shows under a blanket in, in turn three. The bumper being used by the 98. And, the, and these guys running side by side. This pack is swarming. And now we got three wide deep in the pack right here. 51, 39, double zero. They're four wide off two. Oh, baby, what a race. Jones finding his way back. He wants this win. Either he brings it to, he, either he brings it to victory lane or he brings back the steering wheel with the run he's having right now. 98 contact with a 39. 
No further incident there. 22 will go P1. Here comes the double zero. Haven't talked about him all race. Wayne Lopez. Running with, running side by side with champion. And it'll be Wayne Lopez leading that lap. Will it? Yes, it will. Two one thousandths of a second once again. Here comes Fitzwater. He started at the back of the pack. And here he is, muscling his way to P1. Contact between Lynn and Shones. No further incidents. Three wide, up the track goes Shones and Lynn. Contact into the wall, hard. Wrecking in turn two. Wrecking in turn two, big hits. Another one. Question is, where, where is Shones? Caution's out. And this took out some more people. 48, Jackson Lynn, last, uh, last week's winner. Dylan Young, his race is done. Griffin Lynn, her day is done. Wayne Lopez is being shown the leader. And will this end the race under caution? I believe it will. We will take a look at the replays. And we'll see about the finish on the other side of of the replays. Alright, once again, the good old bumper hook here in turn two. Sends Lynn into the wall hard. Picks the car up, up off the ground. 98, Love Lathair makes it through. Dawson makes it through. Lynn continuing to slide, then got hit. And another vicious lick on the five. And Dylan Young finds his way in it. Christian Mayweather finds himself in it. Just another hard crash and the 41, his luck finally ran out. He got a piece. There's the 88 getting a piece down there. Just to the bottom right of your screen. Take another look at it. This is a... Is going into turn number two and hard up into the wall. And you see LaFair get a little piece of it and then hard hit for the five. He's going to take another hit right there from Jackson Lynn. Your winner from Atlanta, Dylan Young, stuffs it in there. Then gets hit by Christian Mayweather. A hard crash. Then the 41 slides in it. And the 88 in it. Christian Mayweather with a pretty hard crash here at Phoenix. Not the way he wanted to start his 2018 season here in NASCAR. But the question lies ahead. Will we see this race under caution? If so, Wayne Lopez would, would be the winner. But let's get to our results. And folks, this race is going to end under the yellow. So it's going to be Wayne Lopez, your winner, followed by the 39, Zach Fitz. What a great run for him after starting in the back of the pack. Eli Bright, Max Anderson, Alexander Rowe, first top five of the season. Joe Jefferson, Audra Varanaskis, first top ten of the season. Jack Dawson, his first, his first career top ten. Uh, Bennett LaFerre. And Lily Gordon rounding out your top 10. And we finish with 28 cars on the lead lap. Not a record breaker. But Wayne Lopez will find his way to victory lane after dodging all the carnage on what will go down in history as the wildest race here at Phoenix to kick off the racing season here in the, the the jewel of the desert. Wayne Lopez will come off corner number four behind the pace car. And Wayne Lopez will see the first checker flag of the season for him coming at Phoenix.
Wayne Lopez dodges all the carnage and found his way to victory lane here for the first time here in 2018. Congratulations, Wayne Lopez. And we will take a look at our finishing order. There's the official standings. Top 10, Lily Gordon. And like I said, we finished with 28 cars on the lead lap. These cars are gone due to accidents here throughout the race. But it's going to be Wayne Lopez, Zachary Fitzwater, Eli Bright, Max Anderson, Alexander Rowe. I talked about that be uh, before we took the checkered flag. Top 10 is Lily Gordon. 28 cars on the lead lap. That's it. We thank you for, for joining us here today at Phoenix for Nationwide Racing here in the Valley of the Sun. Next Next time we see you, we'll be at Las Vegas Motor Speedway where we will go 200 miles an hour plus just into turn number one. Thanks for watching. For Emmanuel Harden, I'm Jimmy Pinter for all of us here at the, Des at the NASCAR Nationwide Series. Celebrating what has been in a phenomenal 11 seasons and will we'll, 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 we'll go down in history as... One of the great seasons that, that we had since season, since season number one. We thank you for all the support throughout the, over the years and, and, and throughout the last ten seasons. And so far, season 11 is becoming a great farewell tour for you fans watching at home and at the track. We'll see you next time at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Till, till next time. So long, everybody.